about how to uh, strengthen our relationship to God and how to draw closer to Him. And, and that's really our ultimate goal in life, uh, even beyond this week in camp. So who can tell me what uh, day one secret was? Sin. Well, we did talk about sin, but sin separates us from God, not draws us closer to God. Right, five fingers. It reminded us to pray. Remember we had the, the little finger? It reminded us to pray for the little people and children. We had, uh, I better do them together and not point at a time. We had the ring finger to remind us to do uh, pray for those relationships we have. The middle finger to remind us to pray for the big people in our lives, the world leaders and government. The pointer finger to remind us to pray for those that point us in the right directions and the thumb to remind us to pray for ourselves. So every day, say something to God. And then on Tuesday, we had another secret, and it was every day what? Every day say something for God. And that sounds an awful lot like what Wes talked about last night, confession. Every day say something for God. God has been so good to us. What a shame it would be if we didn't tell other people about those blessings He's given us. Every day say something to God. Every day say something for God. <clears throat> and then yesterday, we had secret number three. Does anybody remember what that one is? No. Is the, oh, Luke. Let God say something to you. Excellent. Every day let God say something to you. And remember, at our salvation classes, we talked about faith, and it doesn't drop from the skies like rain. We have to do something to get faith. We have to let God talk to us. And the way that He does that is through His Word. So every day, let God say something to you. <coughs> Today's secret is, every day, do something for God. <coughs> every day, do something for God. Because we all know that actions, what? Speak louder than words. What do you think Mitchell would think about me if every time I saw him, I said, Mitchell, I love you. And then when he turned to walk away, I kicked him in the rear end. You think he'd believe me? Or you think he'd think, well, I don't know about that, Jeremy. Mitchell, I love you. See ya. I don't think he'd believe my words because my words and my actions would be inconsistent. So every day... Do something for God. And when we, when we do something for God and when we say something for God, uh, when we let God talk to us and when we talk to Him, then our lives are consistent. Our thoughts, our actions, everything's working together. And after all, that's really the reason we were created. I want to read to you from Ephesians chapter 2, starting in verse 1. It says, and you he made alive because you were dead in your sins and trespasses. The sins and trespasses that you once walked in according to this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, that spirit that now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom we also all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And we were by nature children of wrath, just like the others. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of His great love with which He loved us, even when we were dead in our sins, He made us alive together with Christ. It's by grace that you have been saved. And He raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of His grace and His kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And that is not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, so that no one should boast. For we are His workmanship, and we are created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. He says we're created to do good works. Because when we do good works and people see that, 
They see our good works and they glorify God. That's the goal. We shouldn't take credit for the things that we do, but we should praise God that we have the ability to do that. Every day, say something to God. Every day, say something for God. Every day, let God say something to you. And every day, do something for God. We're going to have a song, and we're going to have a prayer, and then we're going to have breakfast. Luke.